Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. For you can close your eyes. A slow flow. When I teach, more often than not, I do it with my eyes closed. I'm aware of it, but it's challenging to stop because I know that when I'm closing my eyes, I'm doing it so that I can imagine what it feels like to be in the poses that I'm calling. This time on the mat is sacred. It's time for you to feel your way into something so that we can feel our way out again. To me, it's like making your way through your bedroom at night when you need to get, um, you need to get something, right? So you kind of know the way without seeing. Allow this time on your mat to be time to explore that concept. Finding your way in the dark. I know that we are doing this all together. Right? None of us has been here before. I'm really honored to share this experience with you. Not just the one here on the mat, but this one that we're calling life in general. So thank you. Let's start seated. And when you can, close your eyes. And I know that sometimes that feels like a hard thing, but come to an easy seat and know that there's a length to your spine. I call it a courage that's practiced. It's not something that's innate. So we're not a, a strict spine, but there's a length to the spine that allows the shoulders to settle down and allows this part of the chest to begin to open. Imagine a string at the crown of the head, pulling the head high, but soften the eyes. And take a full deep breath in, and a complete breath out. And again, breathe in, and breathe out. In each breath, you're just reintroducing that oxygen to the body. Right, so gently guide the breath past the collarbones. Right, notice the lungs and their ability to fill up. And then sense that release as you completely breathe out. Again, inhale and exhale let's add a little movement here inhale draw the arms above the head turn to the right left hand to right knee bring the right hand behind you lifting through that spine tall again not rigid breathe in here and then gently tip your left ear towards your left shoulder and maybe closing your eyes, feeling the right side of the neck stretch. And then gently right the head. Inhale through the middle, arms up. And then exhale, take it to the left side. Left hand back, right hand to right knee, lifting the crown of the head up. And then gently tipping the right ear towards the right shoulder. Right, imagine that left shoulder dropping away from the ear and then feel a nice stretch across the left side of the neck. Right, even this simple movement is massaging the lips, right? So it's helping to release what, what we don't need and boosting our immune system. Inhale through the center, reach the arms above you. Bring your hands to the mat, drop into a tabletop pose. <clears throat> Maybe tap the tops of the feet, just bringing some sensation back there. And then drop to a neutral spine. Close your eyes and cat cow. Just drawing the chest forward and up 
on the inhale and exhale, rounding the back and tucking the chin. Go nice and easy here. And again, just feeling the breath as it travels down the back of the throat to the base of the lungs as it travels that same path on the way out. Notice how the movement aligns with the breath, allowing this to be almost meditative. Again, dropping the belly, lift into a neutral spine. So we're gonna take those movements, cat cow, and we're gonna move them even slower. So as you close your eyes, I want you to imagine that you're moving through cat cow one vertebra at a time. So again, as you dial into the movement, as you close your eyes and just connect to that movement, you will notice that, that there are moments that you can't quite feel each vertebra. That's okay. You're just drawing the awareness to the spine and to blind spots. So on the inhale, starting with the tailbone, begin to dip the belly, one vertebra at a time, and then lifting the chest, lifting the head last. And then as you exhale again, starting at the tailbone, beginning to arch the back, and then dropping the head last. It's awkward, I know. Again, starting with the tailbone, begin to lower the belly. Gently the head lifting last. And then exhale, starting with the tailbone, begin to arch the spine, dropping the head last. One more time, inhale. Right, moving this slowly again, just tuning into those blind spots. Right, this makes the brain a little sharper, right, a little more adaptable. Again, dropping the head last. Pause here and cat. Walk the hands towards the knees, lift the palms up, create a deeper arch to the spine as the shoulders drop away from the mid-back. Gently lower the left palm below the nose, palm, knees, make a tripod. Inhale the right arm up and exhale, dive the right arm under and through, stretch that left arm forward. Right, pressing the palm mindfully into the ground. Keep pulling the breath throughout the body. Gently bring the palm back below the left shoulder. Inhale the right arm towards the sky. And we'll switch sides. The right palm below the nose. Inhale, the left arm lifts, and then dive that arm under and through. Right palm presses forward, breathing in, breathing out. Gently bring the right palm below the shoulder. On an inhale, lift the left side body up. Left palm down. Begin to curl the toes under and float the knees up and back for a downward facing dog. So depending on the activities of your day, your week, right, your quarantine so far, Right, the backs of the legs might need a little support, in which case simply take the feet wide and bend the knees pretty deeply. Check in with the hands and see that the fingers are spread wide. Each finger pad holds its own. Right, begin to even sense the texture of the mat below you. 
And gently roll the head out, yes. And roll the head out, no. Let's walk the hands a little bit closer to the toes. Right hand reaches for the left shin. Bend that left knee as the right heel melts down like warrior one. Take a peek under your left armpit. Okay, bend that right elbow and slide the breath under the right shoulder blade. And then inhale, release the right hand down. Lift both heels up. Melt the left heel down. Let the left hand reach for the right shin. And as that le or the left elbow reaches for the right shin, the left elbow bends. Right again, feel the breath slide right below the left shoulder blade. Breathing in, breathing out. Just bring the left palm to the ground. Inhale, lift both heels. Look forward as you bend the knees. Step feet to hands. If you have blocks and want to bring the ground closer to you, please feel free to use them here. If you don't, bring your hands to your shins and lift halfway flat back. Exhale, fold, bring your hands behind the legs and pull yourself in. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. The third time, inhale, lift halfway, lead with the chest. Exhale, fold. Little bend of the knees as you rise up, reach the arms above the head. Catch the left wrist, take a side bend to the right. Inhale through the middle, side bend left. Inhale through the center. Exhale, fold forward, bend the knees. Inhale, lift halfway. High plank pose, plant the palms, step back. Breathe in, exhale, lower your knees. Lower your chest, lower your chin. Low cobra, press through the palms, lift heart. Feel the shoulders dropping away from the ears. Breathe in. Exhale, lower. Child's pose, slide your hips back. Roll the forehead left and right. And if you feel that you're carrying a lot of, a lot of tension, a lot of to-dos, a lot of shoulds, then what you can play with here is interlacing the hands behind you and rolling to the crown of your head, rinsing your shoulders. Sometimes after a long week or a long quarantine, right, this feels good to just release any unnecessary tension. Breathe in, breathe out. Gently lower the hips back to the ground. Bring your palms to the mat. Know that should you choose to stay in child's pose or shavasana or any pose of your choice for the rest of our practice, please do. Sometimes it's just nice to know that you're not alone and to hear somebody else's voice. So you take care of you. If you're craving a little more movement, and then when you are ready, we will lift up to a downward facing dog. Nice and easy, three-legged dog as the right leg floats towards the sky. Exhale, draw the knee to the nose. Look between the hands, round the back like cat. Step the right foot forward. Lower the left knee down. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, reach up. Exhale, hands to the ground. Float back, down dog. And then inhale, that left leg's gonna lift. Exhale, knee to nose. Hollow the belly around the back, look forward. Left foot down, Anjaneyasana as you drop the right knee and float the chest. 
Exhale, hands to the ground, down dog. Inhale, heels lift. Exhale, to the top. Halfway lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach up. Take those side bends, first right. Through the middle. To the left. Inhale, lift up, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Hands plant, high plank pose, breathe in. Exhale, lower knees, lower chest, lower chin. Again, if it's familiar, maybe close the eyes. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lower. Make your way back to a downward facing dog. That can be through high plank. That can be through child's. There's a lot of information that our eyes are taking in, right? And as adults, <laughs> we do the responsible thing. And we try to check all the emails, all the posts, all the news. Okay? But at some point, you just need to let it be. Right, let it be again just feel your way into your own knowing and then inhale float the right leg towards the sky as you exhale draw the knee to the nose right foot forward drop the left knee down again on Janayasana we're going to add on here take a prayer twist to the right, left elbow, right thigh. Feel that left hip lower towards the ground. Feel the palms press through each other. Take the eyes over the right elbow. Breathe in, breathe out. You're gonna inhale and unwind. Now drop the left arm down the back leg. Take the right arm up and over the ear. And then cartwheel your hands to the ground. Down dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale that left leg high. Exhale, draw the knee to the nose. Low lunge, drop the right knee, Anjane. Palms to heart center. Twist as you rinse. Again, feel that right hip release. Palms connect. Slide the breath across the left rib cage. And then inhale through the middle. Drop the right arm down the back leg, left arm up and over. Cartwheel your hands to the ground. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, heels lift. Exhale to the top. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, reach. Hands to heart center, chair pose. Breathe here. Right, feeling that spaciousness across the front body. Right, even as the hips drop, right, feel that anchor. Right, feel that intention that allows you to lift the heart, right? To close the eyes and accept everything. Right? Practicing that sense of release, not resistance, right? So pull yourself right in. Take another full breath here. Let our twist to the right, left elbow, right thigh. Stay for a breath. You exhale, inhale through the center, take that twist to the left, breathe in, breathe out, inhale through the middle, exhale, fold forward, release the legs, halfway lift. High plank pose, you can lower the knees first, you can lower yourself all the way down. Inhale, low cobra. 
exhale, downward facing dog. Take three to five breaths, find your way back. Inhale and exhale. Notice how the body feels after some mindful breath and movement. There's a heat, there's an energy that's good, right? We don't want to sit stagnant, right? Sometimes we don't even know what it is. We can't see it, what it is that we're moving around, but we're glad that we did. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, the right leg towards the sky. Draw the knee to the nose. Look between the hands, step the right foot forward. This time, keep the left knee above the ground. If you can, inhale, reach the arms above the head. High lunge. Breathe deeply here. Take a twist to the right. Left elbow, right thigh. Keep firing that left Lay, right, press through the right foot. Breathe deeply here. And then inhale, unwind, crescent lunge. Drop the back heel down. Reverse your triangle. You're gonna lengthen that right leg. Take the right arm up and over the ear. And then hinge forward. Coming into triangle pose. Right hand to right shin. Again, if you have a block, that's beautiful. If you don't have a block substitute, then bring your hand to your right shin. The left palm lifts up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Notice, as you press through the feet, there is an opening created across the chest. Imagine that you can lay the head back. Let the head take a back seat here. And then slide the breath across the collarbone. And then eyes to that front foot. Come back to a low lunge. And so then inhale, lengthen that front leg. It's like a pyramid variation and then come back to lunge. Inhale, lengthen, lunge, inhale, lengthen, lunge, inhale, lengthen, come back to lunge, stay here, breathe in, lower the left knee down, drop onto the knife edge of the right foot, coming into a lizard variation. Breathe here. Right, feel that right hip. Begin to open. Bring the right hand inside the right foot. You're gonna lift the back knee up. Walk your hands to the long side of the mat. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale and fold. Keep your hands right here on the ground or maybe reach for the ankles. We'll stay here for five breaths as you simply let the head, the torso, just drift towards the ground. Okay, see that you can relax the jaw here, even the eyes. end of that fifth breath, bring your hands to something solid, lift halfway, exhale, fold, walk your hands back to that right foot, frame the foot, standing splits pose, nice big movement here, take a hop or two if you need to, lift that left leg up, and then exhale, draw the chest over that right leg. Again, notice that you're not tensing the shoulders here. 
If you are feeling playful and you want to play with balance, you can always bring one hand behind the right leg. You can maybe bring both hands behind the right leg. Breathe in. Breathe out. And again, if you fall, you fall, right? If you stub your toe, you stub your toe. If you walk into a wall, then you know that's not where you were supposed to go. Right? We're just gathering information here. Right? This is not this is not the end of you, it's an evolution. Left foot meets the right. Nice and easy, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. And again, like you're lifting up vertebra by vertebra. Put a little bend in the knees. Inhale all the way up to stand. Lift the arms above the head. Take that side bend to the right. Inhale through the middle to the left. Hands through middle. Heart center, chair pose, drop in, twist left first, inhale through the center, take it to the right, inhale, lift up, exhale, fold forward, inhale, lift halfway, Plant the hands, high plank pose. Again, you can lower the knees down first or you can skip chaturanga all together. Lower down, lift up. Make your way to downward facing dog. Breathing in, breathing out. On an inhale, float the left leg up. Draw the knee to the nose. Look forward, step lightly, high lunge, reach the arms above you, breathe in, prayer twist to the left, hooking that right elbow over the left thigh, know you can always drop your right knee to the ground if that feels supportive. You choose, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, unwind, reach the arms up. Bring the back heel down. Lengthen through that front leg, reverse your triangle. And then hinge way forward. Left hand to something solid, your shin, a block, a box, a book, something you are sure of. And then draw the right arm towards the sky. Right. Again, cultivate this baby back bend so that the head can slide back and the, the breath can massage the heart. Right. The breath is this knowing, calming presence. It helps you make space, it helps you cultivate courage, a little trust. Stay here, breathe in. Let's take the eyes towards that front foot. Hands, frame it. Come back to a low lunge. Drop the right knee down. Come on to the knife edge of the left foot, coming into this lizard variation. Breathing in and breathing out. Right, some of you may like to have your forearms on the ground. You may need to be lifted on a block or a bolster or a pillow. Right. You're gonna breathe in, bring the left hand inside the left foot, pop up that back knee, turn to the long edge of your mat. So now you're facing the right side of the mat, lift the chest, and exhale, fold. Another inversion here. If any of you would prefer to get the head on the ground for a headstand, 
If you are by a wall and want to lift up to a hand stand, an inversion is any pose where the heart is higher than the mind. By that definition, child's pose works too. We'll stay for about four more right here. your hands back to the ground. If they are off, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Crawl your hands back to the front of the mat. Come into that low lunge. Standing splits. Take as many movements as you need to get there. You can hop once. You can hop twice. You can hop three times. Lift chest and fold. Again, you can play with balance here. Okay, balance is tricky, especially if the eyes are closed. So know that, know that. You may wanna open them here. And then maybe you take one hand or both off the ground. Don't be surprised if it's different this time. Like maybe you, maybe you rock it on this side. Maybe this side feels a lot more wobbly. And just be where you are. And then bring your hands to the ground if they're up. Bring your right foot to meet the left. Lift halfway. Exhale, fold. And then nice and easy, nice and slow. Vertebra by vertebra. Getting to know the spine. Lift all the way up. Head last, and then inhale, reach the arms up. And again, those sweet side bends. Can't have too many of these if you ask me. Inhale through the center. Mountain pose. Breathe in. Breathe out. Again, maybe close your eyes and just take a, a scientific, non-judgmental, no expectation view of your arrival here on the mat. From the bottom of the feet, allow that internal gaze to gaze to grace past the calves right the softness the forgiveness of your knees there's this slight internal rotation of the upper legs that allows the tailbone to drop and the hip points to lift There's your core. So integral for carrying you through this life. There's this unexpected lift to your heart. And the length to your neck that you can't quite access when you're binge watching Netflix. There is, again, a, a practice courage and curiosity and we can see it all through closed eyes breathe in breathe out on an inhale lift the arms above the head as you exhale bend the knees fold forward Inhale, lift halfway, fold, plant hands, high plank pose, 
right? Just a variation of mountain pose, right? We're just we're just oriented with the ground a different way. So again, take yourself in from the bottom of the feet to the crown of the head. And you're just continuing to arrive, continuing to build courage and trust. Breathe in, breathe out. Yeah, keep drawing the shoulder blades back. Feel a buoyancy in the low belly. Take another breath in. Exhale, lower yourself nice and slow all the way down. Nice. Turn your head to the left and take your arms back. We're gonna keep the palms on the ground, but the fingers, they're stretched back towards the feet. And just come into the steady, honest beat of your heart. And then notice an evenness to the inhale and the exhale. And know that, that if you are feeling a lot, then maybe the exhale is a little longer than the inhale. So twice as long. So maybe that inhale is four beats and the exhale is eight. Feeling the palms pressed down, feeling the tops of the feet pressed down. Turn your chin to the center of the mat. And on an inhale, you're gonna lift only the torso. If you wanna keep the palms down, you can. Draw the navel towards the legs, right? Lifting through and across the chest. Keep the head neutral. Breathe in, breathe out. Another full, complete inhale. Nice and easy, exhale, turn your head to the right. And again, remember that measured breath, you're in charge. Right, turn the head again to the center of the mat. First, rooted through the palms and the feet. On an inhale, lift the chest, lift the heart. And now maybe float the hands, maybe even float the legs. Breathe in, breathe out. Filling the lungs, empty. Another breath in. Exhale, release. Child's pose. Slide yourself back. Pressing through the palms. Gently begin to lift yourself up and back to a downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg towards the sky. Draw the knee to the nose. You bring the knee behind the right wrist, setting up for half pigeon. This is if you have a, a blanket or a pillow if your right hip is off the ground, slide that pillow or blanket below the hip. Take the left leg and slide it back and come into 
your half pigeon. Again, I have a, a little blanket. I'll bring it <clears throat> below the torso. That's another option if you have a blanket or a pillow. Just let the head and torso rest there. to lift yourself up. If you want to roll through a vinyasa, you can. I'm going to go right back to a down dog. Left leg is going to float. Draw the knee towards the nose. <clears throat> Drop the knee to the mat. Half pigeon. If this side feels a little crankier than the other side and you know that you prefer this on your spine, then take that. Again, it's your choice. You're just here to breathe and to explore. Right? If we feel pain, we shift. We make a we make a change. Breathe in. Breathe out. Just settle yourself in. Right? There's so much um, that we can never have predicted. But it's just a reminder that, that we never could either, right? It's been one month since I've actually taught a studio class. And I never would have thought that I'd be sharing the practice with you from my home, but I'm so humbled and, and willing and, and honored to have you all here in this collective experience, right? separate but together. So again, I, I pull myself into the breath and I allow the practice to work, right? And just show up in all the ways we can show up and support each other and, and allow each other to know that that we really do know more than we realize and it's what's important. Right? It's what we find in the dark. All right, gently lift yourself up. This time we're gonna bring yourself to your sits bones as that back leg comes forward. Bring your spine to the ground. Draw the knees towards the chest, take the arms out like a T. Drop the knees to the right. The right hand can rest on the left thigh. Just a soft little rinse here. And then through the middle. Take the knees to the opposite side. Now the left hands on the right thigh. Take the eyes softly over the right shoulder. And then draw the right arm over to rest on the left. And if you have a blanket or a towel or a pillow, maybe let the head or the body even rest around that towel, blanket or pillow. And stay here on your side for your final rest for your Shavasana. If 45 minutes is all the time that you have for your practice, 
your practice on the mat at least. And then gently, and softly, and kindly press yourself up to an easy seat. And we'll meet where we started in this space of courage. Drawing your palms to heart center. Together, let's breathe in and out. Again, inhale, exhale. I bow to each of you. Namaste.